Hello, 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 beautiful one. Acknowledging your beauty of the soul. I, your friend, I'm in love. Welcome you to this channel to proclaim the awakening of the spirit. I have another question that, yes, okay, there I have explained in previous video. On another channel, I got this question because there too I explained the difference between human consciousness and artificial intelligence. Actually, that channel is very scientific uh, oriented and it is more like me, something religious, something spiritual. So I like it more here than there. Anyway, so here I received another question that, okay, I explained what is consciousness and what is artificial intelligence but is there any difference between the consciousness of human being and that of animals bird etc because we have found that jesus christ was speaking that you are higher than birds how come in the state of consciousness how we are higher than a bird now i want to introduce with something very powerful that is in human being only a instrument an instrument it is a part of our brain that is called cerebral cortex and this cerebral hemisphere is responsible for memory communication skill and thinking like i'm speaking to you then this part of my brain is very active and it is something that is different in human being in compared to all other living being because all other living being cannot imagine this way and scientific scientists also find that in compared to the size of the skull, only in human being it is so big, this cerebral cortex. And by this we can memorize, we can communicate, we can think. On on other side, animals work on their stimuli or a stimulus kind of feeling. Like uh, as I mentioned Jesus, so I am reminded of the sheep. Imagine there is a sheep. If the sheep gets the smell or hear the sound or sees the wolf only then the sheep is going to be scared of the wolf but when it comes of human being human use their cerebral cortex cortex not just their stimuli not their instinct only but this cerebral cortex will give them fear of the wolf even if wolf is not there even if when they cannot smell hear or see yet they can imagine they can create alternate reality this is the consciousness that is in human being because as far as the concerning for the life striving for life or hunger etc is concerned is common in all all living being but it is only human being who can be afraid of something that is no longer there who can be who can feel envy for somebody who can feel hatred for somebody who is no longer here animals don't don't behave this way they live in the present moment they follow their instinct their body but human can imagine and now this power we can use that is mostly getting spent in the fear like fear jesus is saying that why you worry about tomorrow you are greater than the birds and your father if feeds the bird will it he not feed you something like this jesus is speaking so here what happens that we spend our power of imagination power of thinking that is only in human being we spend this in thinking in worry in fear that i have a very beautiful life but tomorrow if it is taken away from me i am very rich i am a celebrity but tomorrow if it's taken away from me I am getting old if it is taken away from this life taken away from me or if I grow old what happens so many different kind of worry is there and Jesus says don't worry so here we can use this power this supernatural power that is present only in human being in something greater like we can use it in faith we can use it in love we can use it in prayer you know human can be scared of the dinosaur who is no longer here but no other animal not even a rat will be scared of a dinosaur if you tell the rat about dinosaur but human can be scared by dinosaur even if there is no dinosaur here but you know animal as big as an elephant 
cannot pray the way human can and because of this cerebral cortex animals also feel the emotion of love and everything but it is only human who can give it a meaning who can define a relationship that she is my daughter she is my mother she is my wife she is my friend she is my teacher she is my neighbor all these definition human being can only give and this is the consciousness that is human consciousness by which we define jesus calls god as my father you see this is the definition that human can give animals also feel love animals also feel emotion but only human can give this emotion a feeling of a, a relationship like sexual feeling animals also feel sexual feeling human also feel uh, as far as it is concerned if you see the process both are feeling almost the same thing but human can give it a good meaning that you're my wife human can give the meaning of chastity human can give the meaning of marriage human can give meaning of 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 love human can give meaning of bringing a new birth so this is the consciousness of human being that differentiate us from all other living being and that makes us greater than all other living being this part and this is the something that makes us worse than even the even the animals because animals are not worse they are not bad they don't have this instinct this cerebral cortex this power of imagination in them they they cannot give their relationship they don't understand the relationship but as long as human also just follow their smell here or eyes vision they also behave like 99% like animal but when you go into your imagination and when you lift up your eyes by your faith by your wisdom and give a meaningful life a true meaning you define the relationship of it then you become great the kingdom of heaven will belongs to you because our father in heaven we are the sons and daughters of of divine father we are those we are the buddha if you don't believe in god then i will say that you are the entire consciousness everything is woven in you just it is your human consciousness that can give you awareness that you are infinite eternal thank you so much may god bless you